Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Good evening. Hi, teacher. I'm very well. Okay, that's good. How was your day? I'm a little bit hard. Okay. You had a lot of work. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, and what time did you finish work today? Uh, I I had class at 8 p.m. Okay, you finished your class at 8 p.m. in the university? Yes. yes. Okay, and then you get home and then you have this class. Correct. Okay, good. Okay, so that was the, a busy day. Uh -huh, that was a busy day. Yeah. Okay, good. Excellent. Oh, Liz is here. Thank you. Hello, Liz. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? Okay, good. Waiting for the mm -hmm. class to, to gather, to, to come in. Okay. Yes. <laughs> How was your day? Um, I was at training in today. A train. ah, okay, and in the, in the office. In, yes, but in another place. Ah, okay, that's good. Excellent. And how was the training? Uh, it was, was good. Okay, <laughs> good. Be is, yes. uh, you're going to get benefit? Yes. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. All right, that's good. It's good, you know, to be learning all the time, right? Okay, and yes. now you're in your house or in the office? In my house today. Ah, okay, <laughs> good, good. That's also good. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. And what else? Who else is coming in? Nobody? Only two. Probably the others will come a little a little later. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And do you have any questions about the topics that we have studied before? No, did you know? No. 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 Vanessa, everything is clear? Yes. Okay, good. Remember that. The topics that we see sometimes, uh, hey, the, the explanation or to understand is easy, right? But they require a lot of practice, right? So the, the, after the second step is to practice a lot, right? To practice a lot because uh, otherwise you forget, okay? Or, or you have probably more problems with the fluency, the fluency of ideas, right? But then the, I think the one uh, recommendation, one advice is to keep practicing, read the conversations that you have in the platform many times, listen to them, okay, watch the videos, and that way you can keep on practicing. Uh, Liz, do you have, a, let's say, the opportunity or chances to practice English in your office? Yes. Okay. Do people speak English? <laughs> okay, good. Do people speak English there? Um, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. That's great. And you, Vanessa? Okay. Do you have opportunities and no. chances to practice? No. No, yet. Not every no. day? Okay, no. only in this class? Yes. Ah, okay, good. All right, so then probably then you need to, to have more practice with the videos on the platform. Uh, listen to music. Listen to music in English, yeah. too. That helps. Uh, watch movies. Uh, well, Netflix is a good option if you have it. Yeah. Or YouTube or on, online, right? You can watch the movie and with the captions. No subtitles in Spanish, right? The movie in English and the captions in English too. Okay? That's another another advice. Eddie, how are you, Eddie? Hello, teacher. Fine. Good. No Hi. problem to access to the platform today? No teacher, no Okay, teacher. excellent, that's good. Okay, people, then uh, we're gonna start. Uh, I'm going to show you the first uh, objective that we have for today. And this is the first one, okay. Here. Now, Vanessa, can you please read this objective here? Okay, 
In this conversation, the use of questions with how will be introduced by asking about distance and measurements. 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 Okay. Distance and measurements, right? Measurements are, for example, a, your height, okay? If, for example, the, the size of a, of a shirt, the size of a blouse, a, the size of a room, okay? That is the measurement. And the distance, obviously, is from here to Usulután, from here to Apaneca, okay? So the distance from one place, the distance from your house to your university, okay? So that's what we're going to see today. Now, let's see the next one. So here we have distance and measure, okay? Now we're gonna watch this video two times. The first time listen and take notes, and the second time pay more attention, and then after we can discuss and ask questions. Okay. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Did you get it? That's right. They are talking about distance and measurements using the question word how. How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount. <coughs> okay. Now, see, for example, how they use uh, a, for example, the question is how high, talking about mountains, okay, the highest, okay, how far, to talk about distance, okay, and these are some of the adjectives that you can use. Okay, now listen again, and pay attention to the pronunciation. Don't cook. I want you to play the audio program. Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Did you get it? That's right. They are talking about distance and measurements using the question word how. Okay. Oh, we have more people now. Okay. We have Carlos, we have uh, Ronnie, and then we have Gio and William. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hello, good. Hello, and you? Teacher. Okay. Happy I'm to okay. see you again, guys. I'm okay. All right. That's Ready great. for the class. Good, good, good. Now we have just started, right? The first thing that I did was to read the objective and then watch the, the video, right? Now uh, we're going to practice it again with the um, same um, here. Okay, do you have any questions about vocabulary from here? He says, I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? And they say, uh, uh -huh, no problem here? No. no. So, actually, I'm from New Zealand. 
Okay, in fact, actually it's in fact, in reality, okay? Oh, I didn't know that. So, what's it like there? Okay? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farm and it's very mountainous. mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit next year too. All right? All right. Okay, okay good. Then, uh, Carlos, you are Scott. Liz, you are Beth. Would you please read it? Okay. okay. Go ahead. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So, what's like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farms and it's very Mount Mountain. 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 Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,080... 800? 800? Meters. How do you pronounce that? Meters. No. 3,000? 3,800 uh, 3, meters height. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. In Auckland, it's about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <Excellent. laughs> Very nice. Good. Okay, Vanessa, you are back. Uh, William, you're Scott. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I'm going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountain. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is New, New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Okay, good. Well, maybe Maybe I should visit you next year too. Okay, very good. Okay, Gio, you are Scott, and Eddie, you are Beth. Okay. Okay. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So, what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farm and it's very mountain. Mountainous. 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 Okay. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,008 meters high. 800. Uh, 3,800 eight hundred meters high. Okay. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about two thousand kilometers from Sydney. Well maybe I should visit you next year too. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. okay. Now we have uh, two more people. Okay. Kevin 
and Ronnie, okay? Uh, Ronnie, you are Scott, but now you don't say Beth, you say Kevin, okay? Yes? Okay. Okay. And then, and Kevin, you read the part of Beth right from here, okay? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia? Um, Ronnie. Ronnie, yes. Sorry. Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So, what is it like there? Oh, it's a beautiful. It has a lot of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? Who high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm. Who far is a new challenge uh, from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. And Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Next year. Okay, very good. So this is some kind of, this is how you can practice by yourself also. You're not reading aloud in your house to get more fluency. Okay, now uh, to continue with the other part, practicing with how, how questions. I will okay. I'm gonna see the next video. Okay, here. And William, can you read this objective here? Of course. Uh, by the end of this session, you will learn to ask and answer questions with how. With how, okay. Now here comes the practice, right? Now we're going to listen to the video, okay, and see, for example, how people use the word how to ask questions. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus a verb plus complement, plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how, and right after it, we have far. Far is an adjective. How big? Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? 
Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. It's about 2,000 kilometers. About 2,000 kilometers. Far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers. Okay, remember here you have uh, 2,000, okay, 2,000 kilometers. Pay attention to the numbers, right? 1,200 miles. 1,200 How miles. big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, okay. 250 square miles. Okay, this is kilometers and this is the, con the conversion, right, into miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Now we're gonna see this more in detail. Okay, this is the one that we were looking at. Okay, questions about the numbers? Remember, the Teacher, first of this is, yes. I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, in the in the last one, the answer here it it goes down uh -huh, mm -hmm. to about ten degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. In in the other is it gets up about mm -hmm. twenty three. Why is gets and goes? Because you can use the both. They uh, this is for you to see that you can use it gets down. But it also it goes up. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. You can use both ways, no problem. Okay. 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 Now, Thank you. Any, okay, you're welcome. Any other uh, question? For example, here. Uh, okay. So we remember that we have first is two thousand. Okay. This is six hundred. Okay. The thousands. The hundreds and the tens and the units okay thousand hundred tens and units three thousand seven hundred forty one thousand nine hundred five thousand nine hundred seventy okay uh, then let's okay here one thousand two hundred 250, 12,250, 6,250, 3,750, and seven, well, this is 74, and this is 70, oh, sorry, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? No problem? Okay. No. Okay, good. Then, uh, we're gonna have, okay, now look at this one also, how far? Okay, you're gonna see now the question. This is for the pronunciation of uh, numbers, okay? And also see that, for example, they use it for distance, right? Kilometers, then a square kilometers. Okay, how big? This is distance and this is measurement. Okay, what is a square? What is uh, Okay, 648 square kilometers, right? How big is El Salvador? Uh, Approxi approximately. 21,000. 
right? That is the measurement of El Salvador, okay? Good, how big is El Salvador? 21,000 square kilometers. Good. Then this is, for example, this is in distance, high. If, for example, Mount Everest is high. Uh, San Salvador volcano, okay? Does anybody know how high is San Salvador volcano? No. No? Okay, but probably, I don't know, maybe 3,000 feet, maybe, right, or meters, 3,000 meters, maybe, from the, from the ocean level, from the sea level to the top, right? Or maybe 2,000, 2,000 maybe, right? Two, uh, 2,000 uh, meters, meters, not kilometers, only meters. Meters. Okay, good. Now here we have, this is, we will use, for example, we will use how this way. First is how, then an adjective, and a bear is, 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 and then you have the complement. How far is Santa Ana from San Salvador? How far is Paris from San Salvador? How, uh, how big is Guatemala? Okay, how high is, uh, for example, uh, Bolivia? Uh -huh. Bolivia, I mean La Paz, I think, right? How, how, how high is La Paz? And then how deep, how deep is the swimming pool in your house? Okay. How long okay. is the Asalwate River? Okay. And how hot is uh, San summer. Miguel in the summer, right? Or in the winter? Okay. How cold, how cold is it in El Pital? Okay. So this is how you can substitute. And remember how? Then you have adjective, far, big, high, deep, long, hot, cold, uh, what else? Teacher, how, how, do uh -huh. you, how do you speak when, when you want to know about heavy? No. Uh -huh. How heavy? How heavy is, how heavy are you? Well, it depends, you know, how heavy, uh, I need to move. For example, I need to move that box. I say, which box? The big one. Okay, how uh, how heavy is it? Heavy. Oh, about uh, about 100 pounds. Three pounds. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. I say, oh, only three pounds. It's not very heavy. Okay, how how heavy or how light? How heavy is it? Uh... Uh -huh. Okay, if you know that is, if you have a, an idea that is heavy. You can use the opposite. Uh-huh. You can say, que uh, tan liviano, right? Oh, how light? Okay. How light is it? Mm. Ah, it's three pounds, two pounds. Not very heavy. Okay? Okay. Mm. okay, here you have the adjectives, right? In green. And then you have, how long is the Mississippi River? Okay, how, question word, long adjective, is is the verb in singular because it can be plural right it, it can be plural okay <clears throat> you can say for example uh how long are the mississippi and the amazon rivers then you can use plural how long are the mississippi and the amazon rivers okay you can change the verb to plural teacher for example how how deep is the Ilopango Lake? How? How deep? How big? Uh huh. Yes. How big? Deep. Deep. Oh, how deep? How deep? Uh huh. How deep is Ilopango Lake? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. That's a good question, but I don't know, right? But they say that it's very, very okay. deep. Okay. But you can say I, I don't know, probably uh, one thousand meters, maybe, or two thousand meters. Okay, I don't know. Okay, and how tall are you? You see, question, adjective. Can, can, I, 
Yes. Can I say, can I say how hot is the water? Uh -huh. Or how, how cold or? How cold is the water? In the morning, right? Okay. In, in the morning, if you want to take a shower there in, uh, <laughs> in Canada or in Alaska, right? How cold is the water? <laughs> oh, it's very cold. It's ice. Ice like. Okay. okay. Or you can say, for example, if you want to make coffee, okay, if you want to prepare some uh, instant coffee, say, okay, how hot is the water? Okay, right now it is very hot. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, uh, are, okay. Yes. I, uh -huh. I have the answer of the deep of the Ilopango Lake. Okay, tell I us. Google. Okay, good, good, excellent. It is 230 meters. 19? No, 230 meters. 200, 230 meters. Yes. yes. It's like, uh, let's say like Google, blocks Google blocks says. And, <laughs> uh, yes, okay, Google. two blocks and okay. a half. Okay, dos cuadras y media, right? 200, <laughs> yeah. 200 meters, 30. 230 meters. Okay, yeah. uh -huh. but that's very yeah. deep. You know, that's why at that, at that, uh, let's say at that depth, that, uh, uh, profundidad, that depth, the water mm -hmm. is very cold. So how cold is the water at that depth? Probably very, very cold. Okay, good. Okay. How far is her house from here? How far is your house from your office? Okay, good. No problem so far? No. No, we see more examples. These are some examples that we will see later. Okay, look at this image. For example, when you say, if you ask about size or height, how big or how tall? Okay, for example, uh-huh. You say, how, how tall is your brother? Then you're talking about height. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you want to know, for example, the, the shoes, the shoe size. Okay? How big are your shoes? And then you say they are uh, nine, nine size. Okay? Or seven size. Okay? This is, for example, how big is your house? How big is your car? Okay, how big is your, uh, for example, the, what? Uh, your nose. Okay, how big is your nose? Like Pinocchio. Okay, if you want to know about quantity or prices, how much? Five. How much are your shoes? How much is a cell phone? How much is an iPhone? How much is a Samsung? Okay. How much water? This is price. How much water do you drink? Quantity. Okay. How um, much water? Okay. How how much how much uh, a coffee do you drink a day? Quantity. Okay. Three cups, four cups. Okay. Um, how much? Uh, let me see. How much cheese do you eat? One pound, a lot, during the week. How many? Quantity, but for countable things. No, countable. Uh, countable. This is for uncountable. For example, mm. how many brothers do you have? Plural. This is for how much is for singular? How much water? How much coffee? Uh, how much soda? Okay. But here is with plural. How many brothers? How many cups of coffee? Cups of coffee do you drink? Uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have? How many members are there in your family? How? Uh, let's say for example, how does. how does? Okay, the way. For example, how do you or how do? Okay, how does uh, your brother? Uh, how do I teach English? Okay. I teach, for example, you know, practicing, talking, and asking questions. Okay. How old? About the age. How old are you? How old is your car? 
How old is your house? How old is your dog? Any age. How old is the, the tree? How old is the mango tree? Okay? And how far? So you see, these are different questions that you can ask how, with sometimes with an adverb, and in other cases you use an adjective. Okay. Jill, can you please read these questions and the answers? Mm. <coughs> How hot is it today? It's not very hot. It's about 80 degrees. 80 degrees Fahrenheit equals, equals, 20, uh -huh. equals 27 degrees Celsius. 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 Okay, good. Xiomara, can you please read the second one? How hungry are you? The answers? I'm, I'm starving. I'm not very hungry. Okay, this, if you see here, for example, how hot, how hungry, okay? How hungry are you? Oh, I'm starving, right? You know starving? No. Yes? Okay, no. Star no. <laughs> it's tam starving is when you haven't eaten in two days. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay? Then, or when you are very, very, very hungry. Okay? Like dying, dying of hunger. Mm. <laughs> okay, people in Africa, for example, right? People in Africa, mm. they are They're starving. They are starving, starving. Happy because sometimes they don't have food. They die, okay? Because they don't have food, okay? Uh, and I am not very hungry is because, uh, you know, I ate three tamalitos before the class, so in this moment, I am not very hungry, okay? Good. Uh, Yesenia, can you read the other one? How big? How big is your school? Mm -hmm. It's pretty big. There are about uh, uh, 1,500 uh, students. Thousand. Thousand, thousand students. Okay. So how big is school? It's pretty big, but not very. Okay, there are, there are about 15,000 students. Okay? Yeah. And that's it here. Okay. Now, any other questions so far? No? How does... Oh. Okay. Now we're gonna have to go back to... to this question. Okay. Now, uh, think about, for example, a question, two, four, seven questions, right? How far, how big, how high, how deep, how long, how hot, how cold. What other adjectives can you use? How hungry? How many, how much? How many, how much? Okay, those are adverbs, how, but you can use them. How many, how, how much? How old? How? Old. Old, old. How old? Uh -huh. How tall? How tall? Okay. What else? Windy, cloudy, sunny. How cloudy? How windy? How sunny is it? It's very sunny. Okay. Another one? Yeah. How, fa how fat? <laughs> how fat? How, how heavy? How, how, how slow? How slow? Uh huh. Okay, but so all these are adjectives that you can use, you know, performing these questions, right? So then now, how dark, how, how angry, how angry, uh huh? Yes, how, how beautiful, how beautiful, uh huh? How dark, <laughs> how dark, okay? How how tired? How uh huh? How tired are you today? I am very tired. I'm not very tired. What else? Mm. How expensive? How smart? How smart? How, how smart? Smarter. How smart? Uh -huh. No comparative. Okay. How smart? smart? No. No. Smart. No. How smart? smart. Uh, how expensive? Okay. How expensive is your car? 
how cheap the opposite. Very cheap. Very cheap. How cheap is it, right? <laughs> you say, for example, you know, uh, I, how, I, bought a, I bought a car this week and it was very cheap, very cheap. Okay, how cheap, how cheap it was. Uh, let's say uh, $3,000. How, how good? How good. Okay, how good is it? Okay. How good is your soccer team? How uh, sick. How sick. Okay, how sick are you? All right. Questions? No problem? No. Okay. Then uh, I want you to prepare three questions. Okay, three questions. Or more, no, five questions. Using how with different adjectives, okay? And then we're going to work in, in groups. Now let me see how many people we have. There are 12. We're going to make four groups, okay? Four. Three participants. Okay, here we go. Okay, now you're going to get the invitation. Okay, Laura. Are you there, Laura? Okay. Sure. Ask questions. How long is your hair? Okay, good. How big is San Salvador? How big is San Salvador? Okay. How tall are you? Okay, I, and then now what you have to do is, uh, William, you ask a question to Sumara. Sumara, you ask a question to Jesse. Uh, okay, and then you uh, and you get the answer, right? For example, okay. Yesenia, how how long is your hair? Is long. <laughs> okay. okay, is uh, long, uh, but does it not very long? No. Mm. Kind. kind. Kind of long. Kind. Kind. Of. kind. Uh -huh. Kind of long. It's okay. Kind of long. Uh -huh. It's kind of long. Not very long, but long. Okay, good. Then, Jesenia, ask a question to Xiomara. Xiomara. Uh, how how far no no how eh, rapido quickly how fast fast uh -huh. how fast, fast. How fast eh, eh, do you run mm. good question how fun how fast do you run I'm wrong. ¿Cómo se dice rápido? Quickly? No. Fast. In this case, fast. I am wrong fast because I am wrong every day. Ah, okay. So I run very fast because I run every day. Okay, Simara, ask the question to William. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How? How much exercise do you do? Perfect. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do exercise one more, one, one time in the weeks. <laughs> once a week. Once one a week. week. Once. Once a week. Uh -huh. How much do you? Uh, how much how, exercise? How much exercise? Do you do? Okay. Okay. And they say, well, you can say, I don't do much exercise. 
I mm -hmm. do I do very little exercise. I exercise only once a week, okay? Different ways. Okay, continue practicing, but don't you don't use the same adjective, use other adjectives, practice adjectives, okay? Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. How are you doing with the questions? Yes, I uh, I hear any change, but uh huh. What was the question, Kevin? Uh, my first question is how old are you? Okay, the question uh, is for whom? Ask uh, Carlos, Gio, or Laura. Okay. Uh, Carlos, how old are you? I'm uh, 35 years old. Okay, good. Old. And okay, years old. Yeah. Carlos, ask a question to Laura. Laura, hi. No, how? How far is San Salvador from Santana? Laura? I'm, I don't know exactly, but I think... 60 kilometers. <laughs> only, only, for, only for you, Laura. Sixty kilometers. <laughs> it's sixty, mama. About, about sixty. It's about. It's about eighty. Sixty. Sixty kilometers. I have sixty kilometers mm -hmm. from a uh, downtown, from Cathedral, to Santa Ana. Okay, sixty. Okay, very good. Now, Laura, ask a question to Gio. Mm, how expensive is your car? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, but it's that's about, true, true. <laughs> it's about um, 5,000. Okay, good. Dollars. You, can say for, yeah. uh -huh, dollars. you can say, for example, it's not very expensive, it's not too expensive. Not, uh, Oh, you can say, okay, oh, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, I don't know exactly, but I think it's a little expensive. You can use any expression, right? Okay, okay continue asking questions. Now, you, you ask uh, Kevin, but don't use the same <sighs> adjective, right? Just different adjectives, right? Okay. How many orders do you have for work today? How many orders today? Maybe I work. I never been that taco. So. Taco. A Hello. Taco. Hey, you should visit a taco. You should, you should visit. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What mm -hmm. is the question? Um. For example, how far is our works? Okay. Or, how far is our, our house? Our house from your, uh -huh. from so from your office. Okay. Yeah. For example, uh, Liz, how far is your house from your office? Um, maybe one hour. One hour in time. Okay. And in distance? In kilometers? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know how maybe, many. Maybe okay. maybe forty, I guess. Uh, the the airport from San Salvador. Yes, I Sorry. work from. Um, I don't. She, know. she works <laughs> in the air, airport. Airport. How many? Yeah. Like about forty. Now, I guess about forty. I guess. Yes, like forty. Kilometers. Forty kilometers. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Okay, uh, okay, well then ask questions. For example, at least you can ask a question to Vanessa. Uh, how much is your car? How old is your car? How expensive is your, uh, are your shoes? Anything, right? But just different okay. adjectives, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Vanessa, how old is All right. Twice in the month. Twice. Twice. <laughs> the Twice. Basis. Twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you, just yes, Samara.
Okay. Okay, boys and girls. How was the practice? Okay, now you can see, for example, that how you can use it with different uh, uh, different adjectives. And remember the structure, right? The structure is how, then you use an adjective, and then you can use a verb, right? It can be the verb to be, or you can also use do. Okay, for example, uh, somebody was asking question is how fast do you run? Okay. How, uh, how fast, uh, for example, how fast do you eat? Okay. Uh, how late, how late do you go to bed? Okay, so you can use many uh, different words, right? Okay, then. Uh, right. How do you do? Uh, that's a greeting. Uh -huh. How do you do? It's like, how are you, right? How do you do? Okay. But, you know, it's, it's acceptable, too, right? How do you do? Okay, though, uh, well, now you can, now you have some, uh, uh, let's say, knowledge to, yes. to complete, yeah. to complete this yes. exercise. Now you know, for example, Angel Falls is 9, 979 meters and then 3,212 feet. Then what would be the question here? How, how high is Angel Falls? How high? Falls. high. Okay, how high? high. high. Okay, now you know, right? Then you can use that one and then you can complete it, right? Now you can see, for example, in the answer, uh, about uh, California is about four, four thousand, uh, four hundred, four hundred. This look at this one, four hundred thousand, three thousand, have four hundred thousand nine hundred seventy square kilometers. Okay, this is how. Big how is big California. Big. How big is California? Okay, now you have the idea on how to answer. Then how long? Uh, Nile rivers. Uh, how long is the Nile? Is the Nile River? Just it's remember the pair. Okay, how long is? How long are? If it is plural, how long do or how long does? Okay, then you can complete that one. Now let's see the next one. Okay. Then for tomorrow, that's the end basically of uh, se uh, section section four. Okay, and this is the last section. So we have more, let me see, one, two, five more classes, right? One tomorrow and four classes next uh, next week. Correct? If I'm finished. I'm finished, yes. This level, right? And then you continue. Mm -hmm. okay. We haven't finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the beginning, what? bro. Huh? <laughs> what is the next? It's uh, intermediate. I think, yes, intermediate, right? Because this is pre-intermediate, yeah. then the next is intermediate, right? Intermediate, the intermediate one. The intermediate, okay. yes, is the most difficult. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but you know, for example, no, it's not the most difficult, but it begins, you know, to, you begin to see new, new structures in grammar. Okay. But I think you have good basis and vocabulary. Okay, good. Now, uh, let's see this one. Uh, Liz, can you help me with the objective here? Okay. In these sessions, you will listen to a conversation between two people making plans. Future with present continuous and be going to our introduce. Okay, good. Um, I'm not going to, to do the conversation right now, I mean to, to play the video because we're about to finish. But we can introduce right now the topic for tomorrow. Example is, we always have plans, right? So you have, we have plans or we have goals. We have dreams, okay? So basically, the unit or the section mm -hmm. that we are is about that. For example, uh, who wants to share uh, a goal that you have for this year? For, this for example, I, for example, I- Learn English. Uh, I will learn English, right? English. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what perfectly. else? Perfectly. <laughs> speak perfectly. I will, I will learn English perfectly this year. I will speak English perfectly this year. Okay. Good. I will lose. How is it? Peso. <laughs> weight. I will lose weight. Weight. I will lose weight. Okay, good. These are, you know, okay. like, like uh, probably like goals or probably when you have a, a dream, right? When we have plans, when we have plans, we can say also, I'm going to, okay? I'm going, okay. I'm going to travel to Mexico next month. It's a plan, okay? What is a plan that you have, uh, Carlos? I, I going to sleep huh? after the class. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Who, okay. Who is going? It's a good so, example. Yes, it's a perfect example. Who is going to eat after class? Who? This is a, okay. Who has a plan, right? Who is going to eat after class? Carlos. Carlos. Okay. <laughs> Carlos, are you I, going? Who, are you going to eat after class? No, no, I I eat before the class. Okay, no, okay. Very I, I ate, I ate, I ate before ate the class. Before the class. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Okay. What is your plan after, <laughs> what is your plan after class, Yesenia? Uh, I plan to go to sleep. Okay, I'm going to I'm going I am to going to sleep. Very good. You your plan after class? Um what's a movie? <laughs> Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to I always do that. Sorry. Perfect. In English, in English or in Spanish? English. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. I'm going Saint, to watch Saint, Valent Saint Valentine's movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a Saint Valentine's movie, okay? So you say I'm going to watch a movie. <laughs> Which one? Okay, what is a good movie that you uh let's say what is a movie that you would like to watch in this day? A uh, uh, Saint Valentine's movie could be, for example, the movie of uh, uh, Adam Sandler. Remember, and uh, Drew Barrymore is fifty first. Yes, that's the name. Fifty first dates, I guess. Have you have you seen that movie? Yeah. Yes. Of grace. Yes. It's a romantic. It's a romantic. <laughs> um, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So much romantic. <laughs> yeah, no. The notebook. Okay, okay. Notebook. Charlie Brown shows. Yes. <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> Valentine's. Okay, so these are your plans. Okay, what are you going to do on Friday? What are you going to do on Friday? They say, I'm going to have dinner with my wife. I'm going to have dinner with my girlfriend or with my boyfriend. Or I'm going to have a dinner with some friends. Okay. Or I'm going to celebrate the friendship. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay home. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's a good I'm idea. That's a good I'm idea to... because you don't spend money. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I got I'm going to study. To try escape. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> who said? Who said? Liar. Working the platform. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's the liar? Who's the liar? Fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tomorrow I will delete you from the platform. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, people. Excellent. Uh, I will see you tomorrow then. Tomorrow uh, we're going to practice with. Uh, Okay. Yeah, yeah. With going, going to and will. Okay, I will give you. I will give you some information during the day in the WhatsApp. Okay, okay. so that you can have an idea of the tomorrow night's class, and then we can practice more. Okay. Okay. So okay. Have, have sweet dreams, rest, and I. Yes, you have a question, Rodney? No. No. Okay. Good. Okay. Then okay. good night, everybody. Go to sleep. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.